Joe, Charlie Parsons, Boxing Social. Thank you for making the time for us so close to Christmas. Um, JJ said just before you got on here that you're spending your Christmas with Tyson Fury. Uh, what does a gypsy ty- uh, Tyson Fury and John Fury Christmas involve? So I, I haven't really been. Um, I'm spending Christmas with a few people. Okay. Uh, the guy, the guy that looks after me here, Joe, and also Spencer Brown, who looks after Tyson, very nice and everything. And also, I want to be probably having dinner at Tyson's after the, um, you know, just uh, just normal, normal, normal dinner, and just family time, time for family. Uh, while his family together around and, and have some fun and, and enjoy the season. I know as you just touched on with Andy there, it is difficult as we get closer to the sort of festive period being so far away from your family. But do you just have to try and make it a time where, you know, it's full of laughs and uh, sort of uh, a really happy time so you can sort of recreate that sort of spirit and obviously keep in touch with your loved ones back home? Yeah, I'm just the, the, <clears throat> I'm thankful nowadays that we have like video calls you know, so I can see my kids and my wife and parents and family. But um, I'm, I'm going to make it. I want to make it count being here and being away from my family by by training hard and staying focused and not getting sick and just doing everything right. But it is it is a it's a, it's a hard time. But you know, it's one of those things where it's not going to be like this forever. As mentioned before, Michael Hunter is a name that sort of. Been in and around a little bit uh, on the boxer circuit, but not quite had anything penciled in. He was obviously meant to fight Huey Fury, and then that all fell through. Look, he obviously put out the thing saying that he turned down Jack Massey for whatever reasons, but he is someone that sort of was at one point, you know, sort of a, t- a top five, six heavyweight coming off the draw with Povetkin that people thought he uh, he won. Uh, recently, it's not really gone his way, whether that being, you know, not getting certain fights or maybe not looking his best. Um, do you believe that if a fight with you and Michael Hunter was to be made, that you would get the best Michael Hunter back in there and one that was prepared and, and sort of ready to prove his level? Yeah, listen, if uh, <clears throat> everything goes well with Jack Messi, I'd like the opportunity to fight Michael Hunter. And I think Michael has done a lot of some great things in boxing. And, you know, he's looked good in a lot of fights. Some fights doesn't look as but I think it's the liberal opponent might lift you to, to up your game. And I'm sure, you know, when he comes back that he's going to be a better Michael Hunter than he has in the past or past few fights. Jack Massey are strong and, and really good cruiserweight, but sort of threw a lot of us off when we saw the move up to heavyweight. Um, we're not sure just quite how big he'll come in, but we've seen sort of the fights that he's given some of the best cruiserweights in the division. Um when the sort of name was thrown at you, I know you said you haven't seen too much, but were you a little bit shocked that perhaps he was deciding to make the jump up to get in with, with the heavyweights? To be honest, I was a little surprised. I uh, We're looking at all these other heavyweights and, uh, and they mentioned Jack Massey's name, saying he's the <clears throat> probably like the one only one that wants to take the fight and, and lock it in fast, you know. So he was actually begging boxer, please give me a big fight, give me a heavyweight so I can... You know, so I can fight in Manchester and uh, fight in front of my home crowd. A photo's been circulating of the two of you. I don't know whether you've shared a small amount of rounds or, or trained in some form of capacity together. I know it wouldn't have been too much, but like you said, you have had him in Morecambe before. Um, what do you know of him in the ring and, and what do you believe will be the biggest test come fight night that, that Jack Massey will bring to you? Listen, he's uh, he's tough. He's tough and he's got balls. And, um, you know, he's like, obviously he's taking this challenge. He doesn't shy away from challenges. And he, you know, he's hungry to show people, his people, what he can do in, in the heavyweight division. So, but it's, it's uh, he's come up against, I think it's going to be a hard challenge. Like, uh, it is, uh, you know, you can sort of take this fight, that fight, and get to the, the bigger fight. But he's come straight up to the to top, top fight. So, it's going to be a good challenge for both of us. Just finally from me, obviously we see Tyson Fury and Alexander Rusik are sort of um, amicable on either side in making the way for the undisputed clash, whether that be Wembley with a record sellout or maybe Saudi Arabia has previously spoken about. Um, a fight that all boxing purists want to see and I suppose one that we need to see to cement the number one in the division. Uh, if that fight is to be made, uh, sort of how do you believe Styles Joe and how does that fight play out in your eyes? Um, so I don't think it's, there's any point asking me because I'm just, you know, I'm 
fully supporting Tyson in this fight, so it's quite uh, one-sided. You, you <laughs> one believe it? It's a one-sided fight away no, from your friendship with Tyson. One-sided one opinion, uh, but I, I think I do think that you think, listen, he's a great fighter. Look what he's achieved in boxing, cruiserweight, coming up to heavyweight. Undisputed, he wants to be what every everyone wants to be champion, and I think he does give Tyson a bit of trouble with the angles and movements. But um, I just think Tyson's too big, and you know he'll he'll eventually catch him. Top man, Joe. Thank you for your time, and have a good Christmas. Thank you, bro. Merry Christmas, Joe. Obviously, I'll just kick off then. Getting ready for the Jack Massey fight. Where where did Jack Massey come from? No idea. Um, you know, there were, we were looking at options of um, opponents, and I guess Jack Massey had a fight locked in. We we're trying to lock someone else in, a few other guys were looking at the heavyweight division. And uh, I think he was begging a boxer for a fight, a big fight. And he wants to put on, he wants to put on a show. Obviously, he's from here, so he wanted to get on that card in Manchester. And uh, I think he was begging him for a fight, and uh, he had a fight li lined up. And I guess that fight fell through, so. I was looking for a plan and he was looking for one and he wanted to come up to the heavyweight division. So that's um, so credit to him for coming up to the heavyweight division and, and wanting to put on a put on a, a show. Joe, you'll obviously be a big favourite heading into the fight. Uh, Jack, as you mentioned, coming up in weight, what do you feel you'd have to gain if you're successful in the fight? What what do you gain from it? It's, an, it's nice to <clears throat> have a fight locked in to start, um, start off 2023. And I want to be a lot more busy than I was in 2022. And it's just nice to get out, get out again um, after a tough fight and a loss. How much of Jack Massey have you you watched or studied? Nothing, nothing yet. I I, I just I met the guy once uh, when he came and did a bit of sparring and tried in the gym here in Morecambe. But other than that, I, I don't really know a lot about the guy. But I've seen him listen. Well, once the fight was. Made, I started watching a bit of uh, footage on him, the ones that I could find, and also when I, now that the fight's locked in, we'll be watching a lot more. And you know, Andy will be putting things in place for us to come up with a game plan going into this fight. <clears throat> Joe, I think heading into it, a lot of people will be expecting more of a, an explosive performance from yourself. As I say, you'll be the favourite going into it. So, for you, especially as you mentioned, you want to be active. Are you looking for an early night's work? Do you think it'll be one which ends inside the distance? Listen, he's, a, listen, he's not a really small guy. He's, he's quite big himself. So, and he comes to fight and he's listen, he's got balls, you know, coming up to the heavyweight division. And it's not going to be an easy fight for him. So, um, so, I like to, listen, if we can finish it early, it'd be nice. That's, that's what everyone wants, you know. Uh, exciting and, and getting someone out there. But um, we'll just see how it plays out. <clears throat> Joe, as you mentioned, obviously you want to be active next year. So looking at other potential names in the division, there's no secret you'll, you'll fight anybody you have throughout your career. Ruiz, Joshua, uh, Chisora twice, Dillian, uh, obviously Joe Joyce as well. The list goes on. Uh, aside from anyone you've faced so far, and obviously Tyson because you're in camp with him, what do you think is an achievable fight later on in the year, looking at what could be available? The one fight, one guy that did message me saying he wants a have a fight with it was Michael Hunter. So I think if I can get past Jack Massey in good fashion, it'll be nice to lock in a fight with him. And he's done a lot in boxing as well. And he's always he's always game and he always fights he fights anyone as well. So I think that'll be a good fight. That'll be a tough fight. I saw Michael Hunter's tweet in fact and he said that he turned down the Jack Massey fight because he wanted to fight you and then you've ended up taking the Massey fight. So can you just explain to us as to why that was? No, no, listen, I was meant to be fighting someone else, um, like Andy Lee and David Higgins and Ben Shalom, the whole boxer. Mm -hmm. This guy were looking at other, like, they were looking at guys like Helenius and Washington and um, Dave Allen, all these other guys, but it just ended up that Jack Massey was the guy. Did you... Um... Uh, yeah. Looking at just again, looking at potential names, I think one which would be an interesting one, uh, be a, a difficult fight in itself as well, would be Deontay Wilder. Have you ever thought about a potential fight there? Just trying to think of names you haven't crossed paths with in the paths with paths with in the division yet. Yeah, listen, any, anyone. I know Deontay Wilder just come off a nice one against Salinas in the first round, and it shows he's still got a big, you know, big right hand, a big power that he possesses. And um, if everything goes well with this next fight and, and so on. If we can make a fight happen, it'd be great. 
anyone, I'll fight anyone. Just, I'm not, not worried about who's in front of me, just uh, I have to get to work and train hard and put in my best effort when it's, uh, when it's time to fight. <clears throat> On that note, we know how dangerous Deontay is, so just looking at uh, kind of a, the Joe Joyce fight going back to it, people wonder kind of how much that might have taken out of you. You showed incredible heart, Joe, to stay in there for as, as long as what you did. Um, have you felt any difference when you're back in training? Have you, as, as, you, as the wear and tear at all show? No, listen, Joe Joyce is one tough guy, and, and uh, you know, very happy that he got the listen. He's a nice guy, and uh, credit to him for, for, for the performance that he put on. And physically, I wasn't really in the fight physically, but I feel a lot more. Listen, I'm always going to be driven and motivated to, to continue training and fighting. And it did, um, you know, it was a tough fight, but I've had a lot of time to relax and recover. And, and heal and um, listen I'm excited to be back into the ring soon final one from me Joe before I pass you on to the other guys uh, obviously you're over here now you're in camp in the UK I know you've got family back home a young family at that uh, talk to me about that and the difficulty you will find spending Christmas over here as opposed back as, as opposed to back home with them yes, I thought it wouldn't be as hard being away from the family with Christmas and New Year's but the closer we get you know, I'm feeling a bit like, uh, you know, it'd be nice to be home and it'd be great to be with the family and spend time with them. But um, this is what I do, you know, and I'm, I'm thankful to have a, a wife who's very understanding and very supportive and kids as well. They're not going to understand fully what I'm doing now, but hopefully in the future they do. And, um, you know, maybe this will be the last sort of Christmas and New Year's away from them. And in the future, I'll, I'll bring them up with me. Perfect. Thank you, Joe. Pass you on to the others. Thanks, Andy. I'll jump in. Uh, seconds out. Eamon Khan here with Joe Parker. Joe, good to see you. How are you doing? Eamon, good to see you, bro. Good good to speak to you. Um, just plug, plugging in some of the gaps of some of the questions that was asked. Um, <clears throat> first of all, excuse me. Joe, how do you... Um, guard against potentially complacency given that your record and Massey's record on paper are, you've, you've fought two different fighters he's out to prove himself but you stand mm. as having the, the better record of the two so how do you guard against complacency heading into this fight there's no complacency, complacency going into this fight it's like I'm treating this fight like it's a every fight now is, is, is important I, that's, every fight's important not now but every fight's important and you have to treat every fight like it's the world championship and like it's your last. And, and honestly, I'm putting in the work and training very hard. And, you know, even though the record, his record, it was a lot different to mine and the, and the people that were fought, but there's no, you know, he's showing how confident he is by stepping up to the heavyweight division and accepting the fight straight away or chasing the fight, really. It wasn't really a fight that we won because we were looking at other guys, but he was chasing the fight. So... Um, at the end, it became clear that I had no opponent, he had no opponent, so why don't we make the fight happen? And and so it is, uh, you know, he's full of confidence coming to this fight. And, um, you know, he must be thinking, you know, I'm going to come in there and, and make a big statement, you know, here in Manchester, in front of my home crowd, in front of my, in front of my people. But that's not going to happen. With that said, then, if there's that importance for you on this fight, like you say there is, what's on the line then in, in your own words? Well, listen, every, every fight's important, but like, say I lose to Jack Massey when I'm the favorite to win, then what am, what am I actually doing in boxing? Like, what, what can I, what else can I do? You know, I've already fought a lot of big names and I've achieved being champion of the world, but if I, you know, if I do come away not getting the win, it's going to be a very, very, very tough road back. A lot tougher than what it is now. When you say tough road back, is is would retirement be on the table for you should you lose? I know you don't go into the fight thinking about that, but is that all things being objectively clear? Is that on the table? Um, so I'm not, I haven't thought about that yet, but maybe if, if the time doesn't come and it happens, then I'll probably think about it. But for now, I'm, I'm more focused on, on putting in the work and being as prepared as I can be or, you know, being in the best shape for this guy because, you know, he's, he's trying to, you know, he's trying to spoil... Uh, what's in front of me, you know, and I think if I can get a few good wins, I can be right back at the top again, but it just takes takes time. Is a, is a passive fighter like Jack's personality harder to kind of rear yourself up for than someone like a, 
Chisora who'll kind of play off you a little bit and maybe give you a bit of extra fire. Is that is that any difficult? Uh, it can be difficult. Passive fighters don't really create opportunity. Um, unless I've been a passive fighter myself a few years back, you know. But mm -hmm. um, I guess it's just about trusting Andy and the game that he's going to put in place for, for a fighter like, like Jack Matthew, you know, if he's passive or not.